There's my friend John Allen. It's not Allen. really raining, it's just a little mist. <laughs> Arthur Leary, generous, handsome, brave, slain in his bloom, lies in this humble grave. So we're here out in Kenturk having a look at Kenturk Castle. But of course it's pouring rain. Mist. So Kentur Castle was built as the residence for the Lord of Duhalo. That's a good name. By either Dermot McCohen, who held the lordship until his death in 1625, or his son, the successor Dermot Oak. Turk Castle, and it's right in the middle of nowhere, but what a spot this is. Windows, and then on this side, gun loops, where they'd fire out at whoever is invading or coming at them. Brilliant. Whoa. I guess they weren't built as tall back in those days. And I'm assuming this must have been the main fireplace in what would have been the grand ballroom right here. And also fireplaces on the far side. And then again, into the corner rooms. Slightly creepier than the other ones, but the same. And then into the fourth tower. Yes! What a spectacular place. And from here, you can see straight up the chimney. And this is what was called the defended side of the castle, which in the doorway would have had giant metal grate that would slide down. And the knights and whoever would keep charge of the castle would be inside, holding the fort as it were. So Kentur Castle is about 45 minute drive away from Cork City itself, and it's open to the public. It's run by Antoshka which is the Irish National Trust, basically. Right beside the castle is a beautiful avenue of trees, which you can see down behind me this way. Cork County is an amazing place, with castles like this dotted all around the countryside. There's so many things to see within a 45 minute drive that you could come see easily. Rent a car or just get on the bus. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the vlog down below. Now's the time. <laughs> and of course, if you're ever out in Cork, the obvious place to come to is Wing. <laughs> Another one of the amazing places in Cork.